Federal Police. Um, it has come to the public view now that um, because of the COVID-19 restriction, um, the, we have surge in the cases of uh, rape and gender-based violence. Um, these are cases that are now coming up, but we want to let members of the public know that um, cases of rape and gender-based violence have been there, and the law enforcement uh, agents have been dealing with these uh, cases. In most cases, members of the public are not aware of the actions that law enforcement agencies have been taking. Uh, the Nigeria police so far from January, January 2020 till May 2020, we've recorded um, about 717 rape incidents that were reported across the country. And about uh, 799 suspects were so far arrested, with 631 of them, uh, the cases com uh, conclusively investigated and charged to court. And we have so far about 52 cases that are remaining under investigation. The police and other security agencies and other non-governmental organizations have been collaborating to see to it that these cases of rape and gender-based violence are dealt with. The NGOs and civil society organizations that have capacity to deal with this kind of uh, offenses have been cooperating with law enforcement agencies in capacity building, in um, um, management of victims of rape and sexual offenses, and procedures for collecting evidence towards successful prosecution. The government has taking the matter to a different level now because of the surge that we've noticed. I will call on every member of, uh, I mean every Nigerian that has or comes across any victim of sexual offenses, of rape, or gender-based violence to quickly report to law enforcement uh, agents, because keeping it without reporting it will give um, room for the perpetrators to continue to commit the offenses. It is a very wicked offense. It is a very serious offense. It is very wicked of an individual to engage in rape or defilement. And there are a lot of causes some are doing it for ritual reasons, for ritual purposes. Some are doing it because the, the, the sit within the family and they see the victims and they feel the urge to go into it and do it. But such people should not be allowed to go scot-free. And just to inform you that government is doing something about it. And you can see me with um, Minister of Women Affairs and the Minister of Information and Culture. From now onward, partnership, national partnership with every stakeholder is what we are going into now. And not only within the country, but within the sub-region, we have to partner with organizations that are involved in this. We know we've been working seriously with UNODC on this and other um, civil society organizations. So just to tell you that government is doing something seriously to curtail this 
type of offense. Thank you.